Guys, what time is it? It's Friday Night Mail time! Oh yeah! Last week I told you guys I would let you know what I named my little boob spirit and where he came from. He came from J Mood. Thank you so much, J Mood. And J Mood was actually the person who suggested the perfect fucking name for him. Basil. Like, from Faulty Towers. That is one of J Mood's and my favorite TV series. And doesn't he just look like a basil? He looks like a basil. So fucking cute. Thank you so much, J Mood, for sending me what is now one of my favorite fucking plushies ever. Ever, and he's just so adorable. Look at him. <laughs> anyway, if you guys haven't seen Spirited Away yet or any of the Studio Ghibli movies, you need to. Moving on. He's gonna stay in my lap right here. You guys sent me so much stuff. Like, so much stuff. I have twice as much stuff as usual, if not three times as much stuff, that I am going to be splitting it into two videos. I don't know if you guys are like a hive mind with me and you knew that I wasn't gonna be able to go to the P.O. Box next week because I'll be recovering from surgery, so you guys decided to send me enough to split it into two videos, or if you guys just thought that you would get me something early for my birthday. My birthday is November 10th, guys. No need to buy me anything, but do send me cards. Send me things. Anyway, I don't know what the reason was, but I got so much stuff, so I'm gonna be splitting it into two videos. So if you got me something and the tracking says that it's delivered and it's not in this video, it will be in the video next Friday. And I will be doing a giveaway and answering some questions in both videos. I'm just gonna be pre-recording it. And then voicing over next week's winner with your name in hilarious fashion like I did in my recent story time video. Tifa Lockhart. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. We have two questions. The first question is from Tiff. Tara, which Asian country would you like to travel to? Be it shopping, vacation, etc. I have always wanted to go to Japan. I love Japanese culture. I love Japanese games. I love their views on sex and relationships. I love Japanese women. I love Asian men. Hentai anime video games. Schoolgirl panty dispensers. But because in the last couple years I've been so interested in esports, I've always wanted to go to Korea. South Korea, that is. One of the guys I slept with before also lived down there for a while, so I thought about going down there to see him. So South Korea and Japan. South Korea for esports. And because I feel like I know so much about it from having friends that live there. And from being into esports and StarCraft for so long. And Japan because Japanese culture second to none. Matthew Martinez says, I wonder how many stuffed animals slash toys slash thingies do you have? That's the first question. Uh, this is not nearly all of them. I have them all over the house and I also have like bags and bags full that I left at my parents' house. I've been collecting plushies since I was very, very, very young. And I do plan on having like a plushie room where I can just dive into plushies once I move. It's gonna be awesome. Second question, would you date a bodybuilder? Bro, that's like the ideal, of course. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. I like mint and chocolate together. It's so fucking good. If I started a carbonated type beverage and called it virgin goat plasma, would you buy and or drink it? All of the above, yes, that sounds fucking amazing. All right, and now for the giveaway announcement. Guys, if you wanna sign up for this week's giveaway, the link will be in the description. There will be a giveaway next week. Week. No matter what, I will suffer through the pain to get it done. The winner of this week's giveaway was Luca D. Congratulations, Luca D. You got that big D. So Luca D doesn't play PC games, but the straw poll winner was any game on Steam, right? So I decided because of that that I'm not gonna do the straw poll anymore. I'm just gonna let the winner decide which prize he wants. Makes more sense, right? So anyway, weekly giveaway link will be in the description. Just sign up by doing any one of the things that it asks you to do. It's not that hard. And you might be the lucky winner that gets either an autographed image, Tara Babcock, merch of your choice or a steam game of your choice. All right, let's get into these fucking packages. The first thing I have is so amazing because it is a little letter. It says Miss T Babcock on it. Oh, so cute. And it is from Jordan LeClaire. And oh my God, his address is amazing. Oh, <laughs> Okay, Jordan, you know why your address is amazing. It's the first letters in your address and what it spells. Just gonna say that, not gonna, you know, give out your address because that would be like completely fucked up. All right, we've got a big bundle of stuff and it looks like a letter, aw, this is so sweet. Dear Tara, my name is Jordan. This is my first time writing to you. I've been a huge fan of your content for the past couple years. I stumbled on your channel several years ago and I have enjoyed your videos ever since then. However, back then I was flabbergasted at how someone as beautiful and intelligent as you could have so few subscribers, relatively speaking, of course. I wonder the same thing all the time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I deserve. Obviously, my subscriber count is indicative of what I deserve because I have pretty good visibility on the internet, right? Like, I feel like a lot more people have heard of me than have subscribed to me, and, and that just says something. I'm not for everyone, I guess. Then I began to tell all of my buddies on Xbox to watch your content. I have watched almost every one of your vlog channel videos, and yes, even the old cringy ones in the phone vlogs. Aww! I sometimes even go check out your gaming channel. I don't do this all the time because I'm not a big fan of indie games or League of Legends. <gasps> oh 
my god. I'm usually just watching those videos for the commentary. I also love your streams. However, they can be rather late for me. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of people who live in the US have this problem, especially since I see that you're in New York and that's like three hours later than me and I also start streaming at like midnight my time. I'm sorry. If I was like a full-time streamer and didn't have the YouTube thing or anything else going on, I would definitely be tailoring it more to what my viewers want to see. I still tune it in just to check it out. Sometimes I even go on Terra binges. The other day I watched your whole Dark Souls 3 playlist and your Batman Telltale playlist. Aw, thank you so much. Although I'm a big viewer, I'm not a huge conveyor of my opinions in the comment section. I've also never been a huge part of this community. I just recently joined the Discord server. Ooh, awesome. Please read from here down off camera. Ah, will do. Oh, that's completely fine. No big deal at all. Oh, stapled. It's stapled. I didn't even notice. Oh, I haven't used a stapler in ever. I actually have like a tiny pink stapler. I don't know why I'm geeking out over stapling. I'm weird. Also, dogs are awesome. I just want to say that. That's all I'm going to divulge about that private part, but thank you private part. <laughs> but thank you so much for letting me know this. It's so sweet. You guys don't know how much I cherish letters. Like, it might seem silly, but letters are sometimes more important to me than like the packages and the things that I actually want on my wish list and stuff that I picked out. Letters are more from the heart, you know, they're personal. All right, can read the rest on camera. I want to thank you for being both an awesome and interesting person with great taste in music. I also completely agree with your stance on feminism and social justice warriors. Aw, yeah. Although we do have some differing political opinions, I can look past that. I do really love your content and not just on YouTube and Twitch, but also on Instagram. Ooh, you like them titties, girl? Oh yeah. I am a massive supporter of your content, just not one of the more vocal ones like Rubber Tongue to New Guy and Obi. Shout out to Rubber Tongue to New Guy and Obi and Jordan. I totally understand not posting a lot of YouTube comments. Like I watch a lot of YouTube videos, like when I'm doing my makeup or when I have nothing else to do, which is rare, but you know what happens. And I never post comments. And when I do, I try to make it funny, something that people would want to upvote, you know? In the future, you can expect me to become more vocal and an avid member of the community. I can't wait to watch some more of your content so I can support it. Oh, thank you so much, seriously. I know you're going to say that I don't need to support your content financially, but I disagree. You deserve it. Keep up the amazing content. I love it. Aw, sincerely Jordan, AKA Mugwomp. Oh, you're Mugwomp. Ah! I am so excited to learn more about you and talk to you more. This is amazing. This is the best way you could have introduced yourself as a new patron, as a viewer, as an anything, and it was just so sweet. Thank you. And babies in the hallway. Cue the babies in the hallway while I'm having a fucking heartfelt moment. Anyway, thank you, Jordan. You're so sweet. Mwah! Can these people leave the fucking hallway? Like, seriously. I'm like sitting here with my hand on a box. Your mom's box, wah. <laughs> Should I go out there with a box cutter and like threaten to kill them? Assault with a deadly package opening device. Wow, now that I'm waiting and looking at this box cutter, it took three screws to screw on this fucking clip. They didn't want you to like put it on and then like it bursts off and like hits you in the eye and then they have a fucking lawsuit on their hands. Anyway, we've got a box because I think the family in the hallway have died or gone away, hopefully the former. And, oh man. They're all jokes, I swear, they're jokes. I don't hate kids. No, I don't. Ooh, what is this girl, boy? Oh! Amazing LMT, one more to add to your collection. Hope to reach one million plushies for you one day. Oh my God. I would need like a whole separate house for one million plushies. Awesome LMT, yay, 50th FNM. Oh yeah, awesome. Huh, is that why? I didn't even know it was the 50th fucking FNM. So we have got two Marios. We've got the uh, flying squirrel Mario and we've got, I don't know, this is the cat Mario or whatever. This is like newer than old retro Mario. So sometimes I don't know what they're actually called, but uh, I think this is stuff from uh, new Super Mario World and things like that. So cute though. Keep this bag away from babies and children. It can cling to their nose and mouth and prevent breathing. Now I know what to do next time they're walking down the fucking hallway when I'm trying to do videos. This is Luigi, my bad. You can tell by his face shape that it's Luigi. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing indicating that it's Luigi other than he has a slightly, slightly different face than his brother. He's got less of a chin, you know? He's got less of a strong man chin. Next we have this box. This box of doom. All right, Basil, you're gonna have to go over here. I say Basil, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say Basil, but I feel like that's just so British and I speak with an American accent, so I don't know. Open it up, girl, just open it good. Ah! Oh my God, what is this? What did I get? First thing I see is this right here. I don't know what this is. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, you guys, it's the deal with the glasses. Oh my God, your mom's a whore. Mm -hmm. 
Deal with it, bitch. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking- Oh, I'm gonna use this in Tara Reid's comments. It's just gonna be like, every time I make a joke, before I make a joke, I'm gonna put these on. I don't care if it puts a hamper on my joke making and makes it less organic. I like the, the, the carrying thing that this comes in. It's like super high quality. I'm like putting that next to my mouth and face. But oh my god, what did I get? Oh shit, it's the Donkey Kong ones. Are you guys fucking kidding me? Who the fuck sent me this? Who who sent me this, you guys? Who did it? It is the fucking Donkey Kong vans. Oh my god. This is like the first Donkey Kong. Like you can see on the tongue, it shows off the first Donkey Kong. This is, oh, are you guys serious? And it has black laces too. So anytime I'm wearing like dark clothes and I don't want like the white laces making it really tacky, I've got the fucking Donkey Kong ones. Oh my god, so fucking good. You guys are awesome. Who sent me this? Oh my god. Is there really no note in the box? If this is from Cody, Thank you so much. I'm not quite sure, but these are fucking amazing. Like I, I can't even right now. What, what angle? I have to go like this. Like, mm hmm Deal with it. I got the best shoes in the block. Blah, blah. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. Like I'm. Oh, I'm sorry, microphone. Please don't freak out. You good, microphone? You're not gonna make my content all staticky. You good, baby girl? Okay, I think it's good. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is amazing. I don't know who sent me this, but I am feeling so badass. Just deal with it. You don't get a shout out because I don't know who you are. <gasps> Yo! MLG, motherfucker. Let's open this package. Chikau. Oh my god, it's a Snorlax. Oh my god, it's something else. What are these things? Who are they from? What is this? There's so many pieces of paper that are irrelevant. Oh, there we go. Lovely LMT. I think he won't be able to stick his penis all the way to the bottom of a bottle. What the fuck does that mean, rubber tongue? Rubber tongue, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna punish rubber tongue because I don't understand what the fuck he's saying. Some fucking Dutch shit I don't get, you know? Look at this Snorlax, he's so cute. I'm gonna put him in the way of anywhere that Jay is walking just so, you know, he has to get that flute, that wake up flute or whatever. W whatever, you guys have played fucking Mar or Mario. You guys have played P Pokemon. Pokemon, you guys know what I'm talking about. What the fuck is this? Doesn't does an egg happy man bottle cork stopper. Oh my god, what is this? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, this is so hilarious. What is this? It's it's for a wine bottle. Look at his fucking ass. He has ass implants for sure. Look at this fucking, like, are you guys seeing his fat ass right now and his big fat dick that you, oh my god, I'm gonna stick this on all of my fucking wine bottles. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's right, Rubber Tongue, you stupid bitch. Ah, oh, Rubber Tongue even knew that the, the decor of my house is always black and red. This is perfect, and they can bump uglies, you know, like sword fight a little bit, like, uh, deal with it. Deal with it, bitch. These are cute. This one's rubber tongue, but like rubber tongue if he actually had a penis, which he doesn't, or at least one that could be called a penis. You know what I'm saying? And then this one is Jay, and this is like a two scale replica of Jay and his penis. <laughs> oh my God. Good boy, rubber tongue, you made me laugh. That That's like one of the biggest, the best, the best ever. Okay, this is fragile and it's from halloweencostumes.com. I can't imagine, but we're gonna find out. So I don't really have to imagine, you know what I'm saying? I love you guys so much, seriously. You guys are so supportive of my awkwardly shaped vagina. And what is this? What? Oh, yay! Oh, yes! How is this fragile? This is amazing. Okay, this is my Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't like this game. Just letting you guys know, I think it's a fucking shitty game. It, you can't, like, what the fuck? They've made like 105 of them just to make more money. But I saw this at the state fair recently and I thought it was the cutest teddy bear and softest teddy bear ever. I have played the game. I have episodes of it up on my gaming channel, youtube.com slash games if you're interested in checking it out. But um, the game's just not my favorite, but Freddy Fazbear and his big cuddly ass. Oh my God, he's so cuddly. I love him. I think this is from Rubber Tongue. But he's so cute. Now he can like just sit there creepily in my bedroom and stare at me while I sleep. Because I've always wanted to pay a guy to do that, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like a dream come true. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We have one more, no, I lied. It, it multiplied and turned into two. We have two more. 
And then we have that much and more for next week's video that I'm gonna be recording probably like tomorrow or something. So don't wear the same outfit. What is this, girl? Gorgeous LMT, I hope you like this Pokemon hat. Otherwise, I am in trouble, I guess. <laughs> oh, you fucking bought me one of those like fisherman's hats or something? What is this, rubber tongue? Oh my God. We should punish him just because he clearly wants to be punished. Like, I what, would I ever wear a hat like this? Like, I'm gonna have to now because it's so cool and it matches my other hat. I should make Jay wear the like regular hat and then wear this one and then wear these glasses and be like, just fucking deal with it. We're still gonna punish Rubber Tongue though, even though I kind of like it. Not the punishment, I mean the hat. We are still gonna punish him because fuck that hoe. Last package of the week, girl. Friend, girlfriend, boyfriend. I hate it when I say thanks girl or like baby girl and then they're like, I'm not a girl, I'm a guy. I'm like, I know, it's just my expression. I'm so sorry, I'm not trying to emasculate you. Dicky slippers. I'm sure this is from Rubber Tongue. Hi, LMT, hope you like my birthday. These penis slippers are made for you. Oh yeah, it's Rubber Tongue's birthday on Sunday, so be extra rude to him in the comments because I'm sure that's what he desires because he's a fucking masochist and he's my little bitch. But like, <laughs> Oh my god, penis slippers. There's a penis on my foot, for sure. Dude, this one's actually like erect. Like, it's actually like erecting at me. It's wonderful. Oh my god, you guys are hilarious and awesome and just the best fucking people in the entire world. The population, if we could just remove all of them that are not you guys, I would, you know, we would have like the best sample of people, just like the best fucking people. I'm gonna keep fucking exaggerating, but it's not really an exaggeration to me. I'm gonna keep seemingly exaggerating every single week because you guys are just so fucking amazing to me. You are the best. You are one of the best things about my life and I would would not be able to do this without you and your viewership and your support. Thank you fucking Jordan. Oh my God. And it looks like LMT, LMT, I'm LMT. It looks like Rubber Tongue uh, got the brunt of the rest of the things for me. Uh, maybe Cody got me the Donkey Kong shoes, which are fucking phenomenal. Best thing ever. Like, I think I like these the best, even though like there's pink peach ones. I think these just would go mostly uh, with most of the things that I wear is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Maybe I like the peach ones better. I'm not sure which ones I like, but this one feels a little softer and squishier on the inside. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they fit and how I like them. Guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and wish me luck because in three days I am going in to get my boobs redone. There will be like a fully comprehensive vlog about it, but uh, for now I'm just trying to pre-record as many videos as I possibly can and finish the videos that I have to do this week as well. For both channels, I don't want to miss many days, if any days, on either channel. So I'm trying to do the extra work to have the extra content for you guys, and it might be like random shit that I upload. I don't know. Love you so much. Like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed, please. And just have a wonderful fucking weekend. Have a wonderful life. And I will see you next week with a new Friday night mail. Fan mail, family Friday, love, vagina, giant orgy. Bye. You're getting punished, rubber tongue. Deal with it.